Today, we're getting right into some hilarious Karen moments that you'll enjoy. Let's get stuck in. This Karen was fed up with a minor inconvenience that she had with this employee. I just love the little commentary this guy recording gives. <laughs> I love this. We have an international Karen. Uh oh, she's coming this way. I'm dead meat. Two cans argue over sidewalk and crosswalk rules. One arguing that the sidewalk isn't for bicycles, and the other walk through a crosswalk on red. Pressing your luck, man. Dude. I'm telling you, I'm not ready to tool you. And that's what you deserve because you're a punk. Dude, I just told you're you to punk. stop riding on the curb you're a with punk. your bike. Yeah, you just like the authority. You got no authority. You just ran a red light back there, punk. You walked across a red light. Yeah. It says stop. Don't you know what it says stop? Getting what? It's okay for you to do something, strike. right? It's okay for you to spill out the law. It's okay for you to give out commands, right? I'm not going to stand here anymore, man. Good. Please. You're a you're Asshole. Oh, you are, man. See, that's just you. That just makes me want to just crush yeah. you. you got the See, there you go. Rage. You, you got that roid rage. Yeah, because you're a punk. Be careful with that roid rage. They're cursing people, but you won't back it up. You don't take any responsibility. Oh, yeah, because I got no free responsibility. Speech, but I don't have all. freedom of punching people in the face. Oh yeah, you got freedom. You got freedom of speech, huh? You're not punching people in the Free, face. You need to look who you're speaking to, man. You have who some respect. You need to have some respect. You got no respect because you're a punk. I have no idea who you, you are. Grow up. It's hard to believe how this Karen thinks she can't wear a mask. Thankfully for these Jersey Mike's employees, the customer stepped up to speak facts to her hard-headed self. You can start asking yourself, like, what you're doing. Restaurants are open. Like, you could walk to the, you can walk, you can walk in a restaurant and go to a table and not have to wear your mask. So it's rude for you to harass me when I come in here and give you my money. That's rude. You have no authority to do that. Restaurants are open. I know what you just say. Don't tell me it's rude. No, don't do that. Can I do that? You're all morons. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Thank you, doctor. And you are a doctor? I didn't say that. Well, don't, don't like, tell me. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one acting like you are. No, I'm not. A customer and employee, both who I believe are Ken's in this scenario in one way or another, calls a scene of this McDonald's when the customer asks for a large soda, and the employee denies him service almost immediately for whatever reason. I think the employee is the bigger Ken for threatening to fight. What are your thoughts on this? Hey, why don't you show me that sign where you can refuse service, sir? Right here, stupid. Nah. You 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 can't you can't refuse service for me for you can't you can't refuse service for me making comments. Hey, I can refuse service to you for whatever I want. You come for, here talking for what? Shit all you want to. You lucky I'm on this clock, boy. You Are you threatening me? A McDonald's you, employee if threatening me. I wasn't working here. If I wasn't working here. If I wasn't working, okay. If I wasn't uh -huh. working here, you wouldn't have said that comment. That uh -huh. you said to me. I would you have said that comment to anybody. You know I'm on the clock. I don't need to put that away. Yes, you do. Company no. policy states you can't have it. No. You can have it. No. Tomorrow I'm going to come and show the store man, this this McDonald's manager, whoever's working during the day, and it ain't going to be you, and it ain't going to be him. Because the, whoever owns this place is going to be seeing this video. I don't care what you're talking about, boy. Then I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask him to leave. I've already asked him mm -hmm. to leave, and he don't want to leave. So you're not causing a scene. I'm going to have to ask him to leave. Already not gonna leave. I'm not causing a scene. I'm not causing the scene, okay? I've already asked to buy a large drink, all right? And he want to keep running his mouth. We have the right to refuse service. Uh huh. So we have the right to refuse service. Yeah. For for what reason? I don't know the reason. That's. Okay, so state the reason on this camera right now. 
I, I let someone get soda because they're your people. Okay. okay. You, you didn't see that lady walk up in here and get a free soda? I was taking orders, man. I told you I was taking orders. I was nice, the, somebody nice walked right over there and saw her. Yeah, he said, and oh, you want to yeah. just let it be okay. Like I said, 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 like I if you need that, if you want to have a conversation with man okay. to man, uh -huh. like you were doing, yeah, uh -huh. you're going to okay. leave. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to leave, all right? But you don't need to keep telling me. I want to make sure I get enough evidence for myself, okay? Bye. Have a good night. This impatient Karen wanted the police and CNN to hop on the situation where her niece is stuck on a ride. Of course, the Karen blames it on the employees. Who got the news? You got CNN news for calling somebody? Call CNN. Where is the fire marshals? I got sin in my back pocket. Y'all better fix this. Y'all going to jail today. We got a big lawsuit. Hello? I'm dead serious. Kidnapping these people on this damn rock. Get them all. Call the people. Hey, it's called 911, boy. They locked, FaceTime me. They locked on a train. What, what this is? Whatever ride it is. I don't know. Call the police. I'm so serious. They locked on the ride. Hello? Kirk, call the police. We are FaceTime me. FaceTime me right now. I got all you What's going on? I'm about to use it on myself. I got my niece on that train. I'm seeing it out you. Hello, they trapped on the train. Excuse me, sir. They locked on the train. Is they coming out alive? That's all that matters. I'm on Cougar Brown, baby. I'm drunk and I'm upset because my niece can't get off. I came in to have fun. I didn't come in for a nervous breakdown. I'm so emotional. What we doing, sir? Is they gonna be okay? Thank you. You show. Everybody gonna survive. That's all that matters. I can give you. This Karen and Ken couple refused to leave after being kicked out of this hotel, denying the fact they were disrespectful to employees before and during their recording. I'm going to ask you to leave at this time. No, I'm not going to leave because I have a reservation here. You do not have a reservation here anymore? Yes, I do. If I get a price right now, I'll see that I do have a reservation. I'm going to stay here. I don't consent to your recording, but I see that I'm not going to stop you. Please leave the premises. No, you I will not leave the premises. I have a reservation. We have paid for our room here, sir. And okay? We're requesting our room. And they told me this We're requesting our time. room, sir. And Marriott okay? has said to me. We paid for the room I here, sir. Here because because this is going to be posted leave. all over the internet, sir. Okay? And your name is Scott Hill, yes, is. okay, of Marriott of St. Augustine. St. Augustine, okay. And you're refusing because you wouldn't give us a room when we came in. You told us that you had all of these late check-ins, that you didn't have enough staff to clean the rooms, and that you come back at 4 o'clock. And we asked you to store the luggage, and you said, no, we can't store your luggage because we don't store your, your luggage, okay? And, and now you're telling us that we can't come in here because we mistreated somebody that we never mistreated? I'm sorry, I would like to see your recordings. I would like to see the recordings. You don't want me here because I made a complaint to Mario. Honestly, if you make a complaint to Mario, that is not a problem at all. Then you shouldn't have an issue with me. I haven't been rude to you at all. I have not been rude to you at all. I've been very kind to you. I just said that this hotel, no, I'm not going to leave. It's too bad. I'm not leaving. I would suggest. Are you the manager? I'm the front desk manager. Are you the manager? Call the manager, and I would like to have speak to the actual manager, not the front desk manager, but the manager of the hotel, okay? The manager um, of the hotel is not in today. Okay, I would requ request that you call your manager and have her call me, okay? I will give you my number and have her call me, or him. 
whoever it is, who your manager is, I would like them to call me and I'll tell them how rude you are to my, my wife and myself. You're welcome to do so. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and, and have her call me because I'll give you my number and have her call me. I'll give her your number when she comes in. If you'd like to write it down, she'll be in tomorrow. I sense some sort of racial motivation from this officer, Ken, who wrongfully pulls a traffic stop on this man and then gives him a warning for going under speed limit because the officer felt it was suspicious. Like, I got to recall this, bro. Like, this makes absolutely no sense, bro. Good morning. How are you, sir? Deputy Snell with the Sampson County Sheriff's Office. You got your license and registration on you? I do. Okay. All right, may I ask what the stop is for, sir? I'll let you know as soon as you uh, give me your ID. You, Who you work for there? Your your shirt? Delmar Oil Company. Delmar Oil Company? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. How long you been there? May I ask why that is? Well, I'm just talking to you. I see your shirt there. I'm just asking. Is it is it is it wrong to ask you questions about where you work? Well, I'm just trying to figure out what that has to do with the with the stop. Okay. All right. Well, if you don't want you know just casual conversation, that's fine. Got Since I got you stopped here, you're driving 65 and you you know speed limit seven. I'm just wondering what's wrong. I mean, are you okay? Other than I mean, are you, I mean, you okay? I mean, you ain't traveling five miles below the speed limit. Yes, sir. Reason. I'm just checking on you. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Yes, sir. You good? I'm great. Awesome. How are you? I'm I'm doing better than I deserve, you know. Uh, you got the uh, paperwork for the vehicle? It's actually a rental car. The only uh, paperwork that I have is via email. It's what? A rental car. I, but what were you saying about something? You said something right after that. The only paperwork they give you is uh, via email. Okay. You pull it up digitally? I can. Okay. How long you got it for? Uh, until I decide to take it back. Oh, scared. They, they don't have like a scheduled day to return it? Uh, they do, but um, unfortunately for my schedule right now, it's, um, I'm not able to. Still live in Clayton? I do. Okay. What's Pungo Court off of? Uh, it's off of Seven. All right, there you go. It was due back yesterday at two thirty. Um. Okay. Okay. Where are you coming from now? Where am I coming from? Yes, sir. Goldsboro. Goldsboro. Is that where the office is? I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what, what's, what's the relation. Do what? To, I'm trying to understand the relation to the traffic stop. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from, where you're going, mess like that. So I have to identify where I'm traveling to and from during the traffic stop? All right, stop? hang tight here just a minute, buddy. I don't understand. Like, what the f is going on? Like... Yeah, then you tell him I gotta identify to you where I going to and coming from. Like that don't make sense, bro. What the f is you talking about, bro? And I'm really about to record that boy, like. Yeah, like and then and then shit in here, bro. Ain't nothing in here, so I'm not worried about that. But this shit is ridiculous, man. I'm tired of it. Every time I come down here, them boy do that. Shit. Every time I come down, and then I could have tell how he jumped behind me, like, bro, you tripping? You tripping, my like you tripping, dog? Word, this man wrote me a ticket, bro. Like, what you? What could you possibly have wrote me a ticket for? Yeah, yes, sir. Videos there. This here's a warning, okay? No court date, no fine, nothing like that. You can throw this paper away when you get to the house. and nothing to really worry about, all right? Okay, what was the warning for? All right. Have a good day, all what right? What was the warning for, sir? He didn't even say what a warning been for, bro. Oh, don't you worry. He gets out of the car to ask him. Oh, 
trying to understand what the warning is for. It's for traveling under the speed limit, okay? Well, how, how, how you fast traveling you is What you say is kind of suspicious to travel under the speed limit when the well, speed limit is 70? Well, from my speed limit, I was traveling not, at 60, not, about listen, 68. I'm not going to argue. I got stuff to do, okay? I, have I, a I, good I day. I too when you hey. stop me, so I'm trying to hey. understand. I'm trying have to, a good so morning. I don't make the same infraction. I'm trying to understand it. Okay. Continue on with your day. This family was sitting in a Target parking lot where everyone, even customers passing by, were enjoying seeing many seagulls come to eat leftovers. When suddenly a Target employee, Ken decided that enough was enough. He tried to play the bad cop and tell this family they can't be doing that in an aggressive manner. See for yourself. My mom and my daughter and I were out running errands and we came across this large flock of seagulls in the Target parking lot. It was kind of unusual because we don't live anywhere near the ocean. So we decided we were going to share some of our leftover french fries with them. And as you can hear from both my daughter in the back seat and my mom right there in the passenger seat, we were having a great time. But apparently Target wasn't too happy with us. I mean, is there a law against it? Right we're not. You can record me all you want, but this is not cool. Okay. You can't you be doing this in the middle of parking from lot. my vehicle, number one. You can't be doing this in a Number two, lot. I don't appreciate your approach. That was way too aggressive. And number three, the best way to handle it would just be to say, excuse me, could you please stop? And we would happily leave. We're not criminals. Uh, but the manner in which you just approached my vehicle is not appropriate. I don't understand why you're doing this, though. Because we wanted to. Have you seen the customers coming into Target, how much everybody's enjoying seeing the birds here? No, I was told by at least 10 guests saying, hey, there's, there's birds here. Mm -hmm. Sean, are well, you a manager still here? Be here? Huh? Are you a manager No, here? I'm not here. I'm not a manager here, no. Okay. Who's anyway, your Sean, that's fine. We're not looking to upset uh, anyone. You can talk to either Donna, sure. you can talk to Daryl, okay. talk to whoever you want. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, Thank please you. do. They'll Thank tell you, you the same thing. You can't yeah. do that here. Sounds good. All right, appreciate it. Look how happy the birds are, though. The birds are happy. But you do realize that... Bye, dear. Bye. All right, let's go. Let's go somewhere else. Well, we had fun. Ah, another maskless Karen who claims to work in healthcare believes she doesn't need to wear a mask and denies the fact she's being refused service. Without a mask. I apologize. Why would I wear a mask when I'm not sick? I work in healthcare and I don't need to wear a mask. I know I'm not positive. So you can give me a medium iced coffee. Yes, you can. No, I'm not leaving the line. So give me an iced coffee. You're just making it harder for the people behind me. You can give me a coffee. Yes, you can. You should have said that when I first came in, not had me stand here for 10 minutes waiting to get a coffee without a mask on. No, you should have said it when I first came in. You can give me a medium iced coffee. I can't give you anything right now. You can. You can take my order because it's never been a problem before. Last week you took my order without a mask on. Yeah, this is a quality change. Well, you can. I didn't know that. I don't have a mask today, so can you just give me the coffee? And next time I come, I will wear the stupid mask. Thank you. I'm not leaving the line. I've been in here for 10 minutes. You should have said it when I first walked in the door. Okay, I apologize. Give me the medium coffee. I'm not leaving the line, dude. You should have said it when I first walked in and not let me stand here for 15 minutes waiting for a coffee without a mask on. So I get to the line and you say, I can't give you a coffee because you don't have the mask on. The whole time I've been standing here, I didn't have the mask on. You, so you're, you're not going to do my coffee today. Whatever. You should have said it when I first came in. God forbid I ever have Karens for neighbors, especially Karens like them. Comment if you have a neighbor Karen or are grateful to not have one. John, John, I, I'm not gonna call John. No, I'm, I'm sick and tired of you guys blaming us for things we're not doing. Yeah, do you hear us complaining about your dogs barking all the time? Do you hear us complaining about you stomping and throwing things on the ground all the time? No, the only thing, the only thing I complain about is you guys playing music loudly. That's the only thing. And the last time I complained was the other night when you played music at like 12 at night. That was the last time. So get out of my face right now. No. Go. Go inside your house, ma'am.
Because I'm not doing anything to f***ing you. I'm not doing anything. You're the one blaming us for everything. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. You blame us for the heater and everything. No, you're not going to come f***ing up and open our door. No, he's not. Yes, he is. All right, I'm going to call f***ing John then right now. All right, go inside. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go inside. These guys were enjoying their break time, probably as approved by their bosses, when Karen decides to catch them in the act. Bet she's fun at parties. Not. You're here playing pool. Do not record me. You're here playing pool. We never, we and never eating. Played. Oh, there's so many of you. Hey, guys. You're here from Empire. But we, we, You're here you from wanna, Empire. So I think you got us wrong. No, no, I don't have we you don't, confused at all. We haven't been here for, like, ages. Oh, you haven't been here for ages. Guys, you realize how wrong this is, right? You realize you're here with no mask that you just put on, playing pool and having pizza. This is very disturbing to me. I pay $1,100 in maintenance fees, and this is what you guys are all doing, right? Hi, how are you? Good. Not cool, guys. No, Not you, cool. You I knew this was happening. You got the wrong people. We, no, I don't have the wrong people at all. all I have time. a video of you doing it before. Not you, good sir. Good this morning. gentleman over there. Guys, the concern is not what happened last time. The concern is what's happening now. You're here from Empire on what business? Conducting what exactly in a room that residents are not allowed to be in, let think, alone you guys having pizza. Well, There's a nice a Facebook group. No, 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 please let me speak. There's a nice Facebook group. I'm discussing what's happening now, not what's happening before. Let's get to the point. I'm going to post this on a nice Facebook group, and when all of your bosses see you guys, right, we'll see what they have to say. This is very embarrassing. What's wrong? You don't understand what's wrong? We are in the middle of a pandemic. You are in a common use space that the residents who pay maintenance are not allowed to use. And you're you guys are here playing pool. You're really? You want to question me? Oh, I love this. Keep going. Room. Keep going. Keep going. I'll be submitting this to property management. I'll be putting it on the Facebook group where there are tons of lawyers. And I'll be submitting it to your employers, which I believe is White Rose. Am I mistaken? You no. said you're playing pool again. It's like you're talking to the same people you... Sir, please put about. your mask around your nose. And please no. have some respect that you've been caught in an act that you weren't supposed to. You have no space, and, right, or reason to be back talking. And you joined the party. So please hush up. And, and so this is a party. party. So this is no, a party. No, but you joined it. You're no, 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 no. I am a paying resident. Okay, Karen. Who pays 11 and now you've called me Karen. Now you're really, really, really deep. But Keep going. Hey, yeah, in, rearrange I, the pool game. Rearrange the billiards that the residents can't use. But now you've called me Karen after being committed super in the wrong. Oh, and having some vodka soda. Oh, and drinking. Oh, guys, and having alcohol. Right? Right? This is incredibly awkward. So are you guys going to pack up or do I need to continue this no, little video I'm making? Uh, I think we're gonna you've taken out the premium pool balls, you're drinking alcohol, you're calling me Karen and telling me I'm in the wrong? I didn't say you're right? in the wrong, but I said you walked no, 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 in no, no, here. No. You're now complaining you're that we're I'm in here, but you don't let me talk. I'm exposing you. But you're There's not no letting me talk. You okay, speak. you want to keep talking, talk. There's but... no reason for you to speak. You're in the wrong. Oh, Take so, your oh, things so you're like, and go. Okay, but you cut me in here. Correct. I don't understand. Because I'm exposing you. Because this has happened before. I think okay, but not us. So put your alcohol away, pack your things. We're gonna get out of here. And you're gonna go. We are. We're At least we're one person right. will have the right I was packing the balls. idea That's to say sorry. You packing the balls would be a good start, gentlemen. This is what we pay maintenance for, guys. So these guys could come in here and be playing games, drinking alcohol, and then wanting to call me Karen, good sir, when I call you on it, right? I knew this was going to happen. I'm so happy that we're it has happened people. today. I don't know why you're doing no, you're this. You're wonderful like, people. people like I'm sure you're wonderful people using a common space that you residents are not allowed to use right now because it's been considered dangerous by property management. But here is our super saying he's here from Empire and he's doing business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vodka soda is business now, gentlemen and ladies. And then they want to call me Karen. Oh, I dropped my key. Thank you so much. I'm very capable. Thank you. I have too many keys in Karen today. Continue talking, you sir. Continue talking, sir. I hope you're also employed by Empire White Rose, one of them. Sorry? Oh, that was some good cleanup, guys. That was nice and quick. You knew where exactly where everything was. Continue telling me how you haven't been here before. You knew where the cue sticks go. You knew where the premium pool balls went. You knew where the cover was, right? And thanks to your super who lets you in here. Thank you so much. I'll wait. It's incredibly awkward. I am livid right now that this is happening. You've all put yourselves in danger of losing your livelihood for a billiards game and some vodka soda. 
because you think it's okay to be here when the residents are not. Right as Doug Ford has now declared today, April 1st, a red zone. Good job, guys. Oh, and the super not even wearing a mask initially. Well done. I assume those pizza boxes will be taken with you. Else we'll be paying some extra cleaning fee okay, and wondering why our maintenance fees are raised. To do you do apparently because it looks no, like you're don't. about to leave those pizza boxes we're not, there. We're not children, okay? Unfortunately, you are now in a position where you do need to be told what to do. What authority do you have? I understand. No authority at all. Well, that's Absolutely be, no authority. Just be people about it there. Now we're you're not, asking me what authority I have when you guys leave. are here in the wrong. We're going to leave. Take your things okay. and go. We apologize. You're going to leave those beers in the fridge from before? That's not a good idea, right, evidence-wise? What an awkward situation, guys, on a Thursday before Good Easter. Good, good Friday will be. This is a view that none of you get to see lately, but these guys do on a regular basis. I'll rearrange the chairs, guys, don't worry. I'll make it picturesque as it was. A random message left on the table. When you're wondering where your super is, guys. Oh, this is the water lab. Maybe we'll soon get to see it. After you, please, I insist. Okay, guys, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for that episode. Is this woman a Karen for refusing to wear a mask at the drive-thru or is she speaking facts? Comment what you think about this. Hi. Do you have a mask? No, I don't. I can give you one. Uh, you can give me one? I can give you one. Why do I, I need you to wear a mask. So you can hand me a mask? I can hand you one, yeah. But you can't hand me the drink without a mask? You've got to wear a mask. How does that make any sense? That's what, that's what I, I just need you to wear a mask? Can you, do you mind? Well, if you can hand me a mask, why can't you just hand me the drink? I can hand you the mask. So he can hand me a mask, but he can't hand me my drink. Makes perfect sense, right? Nobody was buying this Karen's lies when she claims the flight attendants were lying about her not wearing a mask as she gets kicked off the plane. She better to get off. Why are we having a discussion? You're saying I didn't comply and put my mask on when you asked me to? I forgot about it. Are you seriously telling them that I didn't put my mask on? You are a liar. You're a liar. You have to Bye. 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 <laughs> Check out this cannon got busted attempting to shoplift. If the baggy and puffy clothes weren't enough to make him suspicious, his attitude when he was caught sealed the deal. Let me alone, bro. Let me alone, bro. Don't touch me, bro. Get all that stuff up. I ain't do nothing to you, bro. I can't, bro. Don't touch me, bro. Get all that shit out the town, bro. Stop touching me, bro. Or what? Do it. You got 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 it. Right? Hurry up. And I'll try it. Only five, five, eight. Attention, meet department. Two. Zero. Zero. So obvious. I know. Why are you putting it in? The fire department is here. I told them to call the cops. Yeah. Oh, see, you're sorry, right here. They have easy spot. Okay. I'm kind of with this guy on this one. The Karens working at Target refuse to a PS5 they clearly brought out of stock up in person, but decide he can't have one because you have to essentially be an online scalper to reserve one. 
The era of buying a new console in person truly is gone. So I'm at Target and these assholes will not let me buy a PlayStation. I'm the first one here, first one in line. They refuse to let me buy one. They refuse. Now this is not customer service. I was the first one in line and clearly they have them. But when I went to go put my hands on one, they would not let me buy one. This is, this is wrong. Oh, now she's taking the cart. Buy PlayStation. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, Target. This is bullshit. This is not right. This is fucking extortion. I have been looking for this thing for months. They would not let me put my hands on it to buy it. This is wrong. This is not right. Online said it was in stock. This is bullshit. You know who they're selling them to? They have cars full of scalpers that show up that stay up all night and get them reserved online. But people like me can't just go and buy one because it's some sort of exclusivity to get to spend your money at Target. This can accuse the wrong employee of touching his phone. And by wrong employee, I mean the one man you should never mess with. Your phone? I accept your phone. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What's up, man? What's really happening? What's up? 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 I'm sorry, sir. I'll be out there in a minute, bro. That's where the replay is. I didn't touch your phone. You can go talk to my supervisor. You can touch your phone. I'm talking to you already. He's your supervisor. That is my supervisor. My supervisor is at the post office. Okay, but he's supposed to be listening to him. I didn't touch your phone. I asked you what you needed. You said something about certified. I didn't touch your phone, dude. Look at this. Say what you want to say. I'll throw something in your face. I'm sorry. Call me out my name. You're going to really get it. I'll jump over this counter and beat the brakes off of you. Screw you. Screw you. What do you want, bitch? Whatever you want to do. Just relax. Shit, I didn't touch your phone. Don't come here and say I touched your phone. Shit, there's a camera over here that might see you. We can look at any camera you want. I didn't come up front. I had to come behind the counter and talk to you. Because you I didn't touch your phone. Shut up talking to me. Shut up talking to me. Shut up talking to me. I didn't touch your phone. There was nothing in your phone for me to touch. Yeah. Built community. Something wrong with you in your head, bro. This Karen refuses to wear a mask, believing she knows how being asymptomatic to the virus works. My brain nearly turned off on this one. Or more, there's like 36 people with COVID in the ICU. Whenever there's a flu, there's only two or three patients at a time in the ICU. So literally the entire hospital is COVID patients. Mm -hmm. This has never happened. And ever. how, and how I'm not saying there are, I'm not saying COVID's not real. I'm just it's, saying I'm not sick. Well, I'm not sick and asymptomatic spread has been shown to be a myth. So why am I going to be treated like a sick person? Do you know that there have been fewer deaths overall in 2019 than there were in 2018? Look it up. Fewer deaths overall. All they've done is recategorize all the deaths. This is not what they're telling us it is. It's a lie. This is a lie, I'm telling you. It's a lie. And everyone's buying it. And it'll go on and on and on as long as they feed us this lie and we comply with it. And I am done. Tonight, I reached a breaking point. I'm done. I know I'm not reaching anyone here. I don't care. I'm not putting that on my face. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm a healthy person. I'm not crazy. This is like psychosis. To, for everyone to put all this stuff on their face when they're healthy is insanity. It's absolute insanity. Go ahead. They can't arrest me because there's no law. No, I'm a healthy person. I don't need to wear a mask. Yeah, you don't need to be I would love to see what happens. Honestly, I'm, just, I'm, I'm moving. To I'm moving to I took you out a long don't, time ago, and you're refusing yourself. after I'm, really I'm offering you something. Yes. But I'm really curious to see how are they going to arrest me for so, a law that doesn't exist. That's some salts and a corkscrew, yes. and you're willing yes. to like yes. risk yes. people's lives. I've re no, I'm not risking anyone's lives because I'm healthy. How do we know that you're healthy? Me. You do you understand the asymptomatic that people spread is not a thing. They've already shown there is no asymptomatic spread. There is no asymptomatic spread. I don't have symptoms. I'm fine. I'm not a carrier of disease. This is what I'm saying. They're treating us like we're diseased. 
You just said, how is it treating you like you're deceased? But then Wearing you're telling a mask me, how do you is know? not an imposition to, it is. to be careful with other people's no, health. Wait, it's not just the mask. This it's is the, the epicenter distancing. of it's the, the country. It's the lockdowns. It's everything. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. You're, you're, you're moving tomorrow, right? So you're, you're going to be... I hope so. This is kind of a confusing one. Strap in, people. The guy recording previously came into the bank without a mask and was told to wear one or leave and had a minor meltdown or mental breakdown that the staff thought was verbal abuse towards him. The next time he came around, presumably with a mask on, he was then told by the bank employees they're gonna close his account because of the verbal abuse. In all honesty, I believe the Karens of the bank employees for not handling the situation professionally, rather personally from the sounds of it. Do you know why that is? Um, I don't, will a letter be going out? A letter's been sent, yeah. Yeah, so a letter will be coming the other day, your account has been closed down. What, because I didn't wear a mask? No, no, because of that you verbally assaulted myself and my colleague. I was defending myself because you asked me to wear a mask. That has no reason my to close someone's account to do a call, down. Um, in regards to it, but your account has all been closed down. So just because you asked me to wear a mask and I didn't want to wear a mask, you're closing the account down. Why do you think that's acceptable? You were standing in front of me again the conversation with you. I was defending that. myself because you asked me to wear a mask and I didn't wear a mask because I was excluded from it. I am sorry, sir. I didn't listen to you. I hung around to ask you to leave the branch. I'm afraid. Sorry, sir. I didn't So why are you asking me to leave? I am, sir. Yeah, why? Because um, at the moment we've had an incident here, that's my manager, it has been reported. Um, your accounts are in the process of being closed and unfortunately... Yeah, but why are you closing my account down? Because of the incident that happened. What, wait, I, you was, I was asked to wear a mask and I didn't have one yeah, because I'm excluded. Yeah, You're closing my account down because of that. that happened. I wasn't here. The staff swearing at me. The staff swearing at me. So do you think that's okay? Yeah, because I was defending myself. If someone was swearing at me. Forwarded to our head office, and the decision has been made to to do that, sir. So if you have any issue, you do need to follow their complaint procedure. Right. Okay. At this point, I must ask you to leave. Right. Okay. So you're asking me to leave and close my account up because I didn't wear a mask. They're being closed. They're in the process of being closed now. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, this is going on YouTube. So you're closing my account down because you asked me to wear a mask and I didn't want to. That's it, walk away. Walk away. This is the staff at Halifax. Look how bad they are. I am filming you. What are you going to do about it? That's it, walk away. I've got nothing to hide. That's why I'm standing my ground. You're all running away and hiding. What's the problem? Don't run away, don't be shy. Because of the incident yesterday, the other day, they closed all my accounts down. Yeah, everything. Because I was asked to wear a mask, and I didn't want to wear a mask, they closed it all down. No, I I'm excluded, I don't need to wear one. Okay. No, I'm, ex I'm excluded. Whether it's to do with the mask or not, why would you close your account, someone's account down without notifying them, without giving them details of what's happening? Especially when they asked me if I was wearing a mask, I said, no, it's excluded. It's the gay boy. I'm at the so-called manager. Look, shut my account down for no reason, without telling me, all just because I didn't wear a mask in their, in their store because I was excluded for medical reasons. And then I got swore at and verbally abused by the Halifax staff.